mentioned several accounts that you yeah. really enjoyed following. What would you say are five accounts that, um, let's say there is a high school girl out there who is thinking about science. Who are yeah. the five people other than yourself that she should follow? So I like the space girl, obviously you mentioned her earlier. Um, I like Dr. Becky. So she's an astrophysicist um, in the UK and she has a YouTube channel as well. And um, she's huge, like I think 100,000 subscribers. Um, so she's great and people just love space. Like, and she communicates that really well and she does like updates on all space news and stuff like that on her Instagram. So Dr. Becky is great. Um, Julia Ravy, um, I really like her. She's a neuroscientist um, and she's probably like my dream psychom because um, she's she's not intimidating. Even though she does neuroscience, you know, seems really difficult, um, but she communicates it in such uh, an easy and relatable way. Um, she's got a YouTube channel as well. Um, so yeah, I really like Julia Ravy. Who else? Ah, oh, the Hacksmith, um, so he's a, from America, I believe. Um, he's an engineer and he takes concepts from like comic books and Marvel films, like Captain America Shield, and he'll like design them and build them in his workshop and then test them. So that's really cool, kind of like bringing comic books to life. So I kind of like cool. that one. Yeah. Um, and then here's another one, because there's just, I follow so many accounts. They, um, Same. <laughs> um, I like the physics girl as well. I think she's American um, and she does a lot of practical stuff. Both her and the space girl have really big TikToks where they do like one minute experiments um, and they're really fun. And I think they're, they're kind of blowing up on TikTok as well, which is a really nice sign that people like to see the fun experiments and all that kind of stuff. So I think we just need to work on people wanting to understand them too. You know, like it's all well and good seeing like something blow up or whatever, but you know, I think the science behind it um, exactly. and knowing why the egg managed to spin on its end, you know, uh, is, is just as important as, um, you know, getting people interested in watching it in the first place. Right. Um, so yeah, what about you? What are five Instagrams that you follow that you would recommend? So I have really gotten into a whole new world of bookstagram that I had no idea existed before okay. I was a parent and um, wrote a book. So it's the combination of para authorship that I found this, um, but where people pair activities with books. Um, like preschool does, where it's, you do yeah. the hungry caterpillar and maybe you also grow caterpillars into butterflies and then all your experiments that week have to do with that or like you talk about apples. Yeah. And, um, I've really enjoyed a lot of accounts that do things like that. Um, so there's one that's my storybook library. I really like that one. Um, Happy Explorers, she's in um, Australia. I love her stuff. Um, Gosh, off the top of my head. Uh, there's this um, account I love to follow. It's these two little girls um, and it's brown STEM girls. And they are trying to promote um, African-Americans in STEM and they do the cutest activities. <laughs> and they always have such big smiles on their faces while they yeah. do it that they're a joy to watch. <laughs> I think those ones are really cute where you see like the kids doing it. Um, I think I follow someone called Two Cool Science Chicks and it's like a nan and her granddaughter do them and it's really sweet. Those are really difficult to produce. Um, I was doing <laughs> one this week with my son and he just totally stopped caring like midway through and was like, I'm going to go play with my superheroes. And I was like, cool. So this will be a picture instead of a video today. <laughs> he like, You're like, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a lot of um, a lot of respect for the people who can get videos up all the time because I only put a video <laughs> if I can get a long one. <laughs> if you can uh, keep his attention for more than five minutes. Yeah, um, that's definitely, that's what I look for Instagram for is uh, short, quick activities that help him explain the world. Like I found one today that I'm going to do next week with wax paper. Uh, yeah. where you iron um, wildflowers in between two pieces and it makes like artwork. Nice. Um, 
totally forgot doing that as a child, but I'm going to do that and talk about the, the chemistry behind the melting yeah. of the wax. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so gosh, there's so many that I could, I don't think I could list five, but those are three that I check like nearly every day. <laughs> yeah. It's so tough, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you say to females in high school that are currently on the fence about taking a STEM subject to higher education? I would say geared toward American students now that I've had this conversation with you that it's a little different. <laughs> I would say take the class. Um, I know in American universities, they've got like introduction, they've got majors level. Take that majors level one. It could count towards something you're about to do um, and you never know. So I just took a whole bunch of things that I was interested in and I had no idea that I would be interested in genetics and it ended up being something I really enjoyed. So it, nice. taking a course opens up more doors than it closes. Um, and I would say, go for it. Um, and at worst, you make a, a grade that's not as great as you wanted, or you end up dropping because it wasn't your thing, but you, you, you don't know if you don't try. Yeah, definitely. What is your best experience? You know, what's your favorite memory of um, something that's happened to you as a result of being in STEM or, you know, while she'd been working in STEM? I would say one of the proudest moments I have of myself um, was during my postdoc. I was giving a presentation at a conference and my current advisor at the time texted my past advisor from my doctorate degree to tell him how fantastic I had just done. Um, and I had, I had totally not written that presentation until I was like on my way to the conference. Like I knew my content, I just hadn't done the presentation yet. And I was a little nervous and I was like, okay, so what? There's going to be 10 people in this room. It's going to be like a small one. I walk mm -hmm. into the room and it was the um, like plenary room and there were a hundred chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I got so nervous and I started um, like, you know, picking at my dress a little bit. Like I got, you know, fidgety um, yeah. and I had a friend in the audience who would tell me to slow down a little when I was talking. But other than that, it went really well. And it was just like yeah. this moment where I felt I know my stuff. I know how to do this. And it went OK um, yeah. and not even OK. I got a compliment from two people who their opinions meant a lot to me. Um, and so, and it, someone took me out to lunch after it too. Like, wow, what a great presentation. I'd love to talk more. And I was like, okay, <laughs> cool. This is so neat. Yeah. Um, and it was wow. kind of this moment where I felt like I found my feet in my field mm -hmm. instead of the imposter syndrome of like, I'm just the student. It was like, I am an expert in what I'm doing and I should mm -hmm. have confidence in that. And that's just yeah. the moment that stood out for me. Amazing. It was really great talking with you. Um, yep. Everybody should head on over to Science with Bexy on her Instagram yep. and definitely follow her on YouTube as well. Her, she always puts links on her Instagram over to her YouTube, um, <laughs> but definitely get some science facts there. Um, and so let's learn about science. <laughs> yeah. You can watch a whole bunch of activities with a, a sometimes yeah. compliant <laughs> <four -year -old. laughs> Yeah. Get the um, e okay. 